physique assessment using surface anthropometry. Associate Professor Gary Slater. Calf skin fold landmarking. To be able to ensure that I can have my eyes at the level of her calf to be able to identify the maximum calf circumference because that is the anchor point from which we're actually going to take her skin fold for her calf. Um, once we've identified that maximum circumference, we're then going to find the most medial aspect of that. So again, really important from a technical perspective, I make sure my eyes are at the level of the tape. It's the only way I can confirm that the tape is running perpendicular to the long axis of the leg. If you look at the way that her legs run, we're going to ensure if that tape is running perpendicular to the long axis of the leg, it's actually going to be a little bit, a bit lower medially compared to laterally. Let's get it set up. So from a technical perspective, we're going to start proximally and we'll work out distally maybe a centimetre at a time until we go past what is clearly the, the greatest circumference of the calf. We'll work up a little bit more proximally, say a couple of mils at a time until we identify that true maximum circumference. We use our girth technique, so casing in the right hand, stub in the left. We pass the stub around with the left and we've got right hand over left hand. The reason for that is that the millimetre increments on the tape are on the bottom. We need that to line up with the zero, which we want to get to the front so we can identify that with the subject. Again, technically, really important we get that middle finger free on the back of the left hand. It's going to stay in contact with the tape and the skin surface the whole way through, and that'll give us really good control over the tape from the front, but as well as the back. We've identified, we've gone past the widest circumference, coming back up in much smaller increments. There's our maximum circumference, we're marking the top of the tape there. I've taken the tape away, and now I'm just anchoring my head directly in front of her leg, moving the pen tip along the line I've just created until I can no longer see the tip of the pen, bring it back until I can see it and I mark that vertically to identify our calf skin fold sign. Calf skin fold measurement. Okay. Okay. You can just put your right leg up into the box for me please. That just completely unweights your leg. It makes it easy to pull away the subcutaneous fat. Four point six. For information on physique assessment, see our book, Best Practice Protocols for Physique Assessment in Sport, published by Springer.